Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salton Sanctuary. Uh, so last time I picked up the thing that upgrades me to a level 4 cleric, which means that I can use level 4 spells. Um, so let's move Divine Armor over here, and then let's look at our new... Well, new, but let's look at the things that we now have. We have three... Oh, that would have been useful. Cleanse. Divine Blessed Weapon. So how is this different from Blessed Weapon? Timeless Wisdom adding Holy Damage. So I guess that's just an upgrade, like a better version. That's probably the business then, huh? That's cool. That's the only level four uh, prayer that I found. But you know what? I will accept a direct straight upgrade. Okay. Uh, it doesn't appear to be different. That's weird. Maybe it lasts longer. I noticed that blessed weapon wears off pretty quickly. Uh, Divine wisdom. Timeless wisdom. Adding holy damage. Adding powerful holy damage. Okay, maybe I just missed it. It would be kind of weird, but... Oh, Stranger things have happened, I guess. <laughs> what a what a title! What a name for an area. And it's the scarecrow again. It persists and persists, but for what? Survival or dominion? can flee and survive, or it can remain and claim rule. It will find both of these feats impossible. What does it strive for them? Survival or dominion? This island is my domain. Those who wish to flee must earn their escape. This is impossible. It will discover this. What stands before it is a puppet. The puppet is my voice. Find me. Is that the final boss talking to me? Oh, the water flows up. Or with the Vertigo brand. Whew. Sheesh. Or with the Vertigo brand, which we got next to the first skeleton or scarecrow, didn't we? Okay, they're not so bad. Crates of salt. Ooh, I should probably uh, go buy some salt at some point. Oops. Five, eight, sixty salt. Okay, yes. I'm gonna need to buy. Take me all the way back to a uh... dome, please. No. The Zig. It's the nearest place with the shops. Now, unfortunately, I've gotta get my money back up. So it still has three swings on these guys as well. 
I had to grind these fools for um Lich ribs. And it was three swings usually. Let's buy. Let's buy two crates. Actually, it just occurred to me I didn't talk to you. Yeah, we're all maxed out then. Whatever. But yeah, it'd be kind of nice or interesting or cool if, like, the more, like, far you got into someone's, into a specific, like, creed, the easier it'd be to, like, back out. So I'm noticing sometimes I'm getting critical damage that one hit kills them. Is it just attacking at the correct time? Because that's kind of cool. There we go. All righty. So the scarecrow is actually like being like, hey, get at me. Okay, I can't jump over there. Or I'm not supposed to, at least. Case of salt, cool. Whoops, didn't mean to go that way. I'll get these off, shall I? Crate of salt and five cases of salt. Three drown lockets, so... Yeah, it looks like the game... In Dark Souls, this is the one of the best things that I learned from Dark Souls. But in Dark Souls, the player should learn to understand how and when the game talks to you. Like, for example, at some point... You are going to find a poison cure item. And that should immediately and instinctually tell you you're going to be poisoned at some point. Unskin's liver. Oh yeah, I never read these. Personal Guardian. The Architect's Personal Guardian is a masterwork of salt alchiromancy. Alchimancy. Alchimancy. Showcasing Kyra's skill and the madness necessary to attain it. Once contained the bones of a hero. Uh. You're the architect. Kyra the architect mastered the art of salt alchemancy. To bend the sea and its countless lost souls to her will. These twisted forms and heart, he heartless abominations carried out her whims. And defines a natural order. Whew. That was a close one. More charred lockets. So I guess drowned uh, stuff upgrades to charred. Got very close down to the wire there, thanks to my no stamina. What are you guys? There's just some like, what are those, flayed men back there? Hmm, <laughs> gotcha. Cool. 
Crypt Keeper's Ashes and the Lord's Orders. Wow. I don't trust that, so I will not go that way yet. This place is weird, man. Not to mention dangerous. I don't trust any of it for a second. Okay. Uh -huh. Don't tell me that this also links back to the Red Hall. What? Okay. I think I must have switched one of my rings out. Because I'm feeling heavier. Is this Hager's Cavern? Stone leader. Too sad. What? What is this place? Okay, so it links to Hager's Cavern. Okay, cool. So when I was grinding for primitive bone, I could kill that guy in four, but now I can kill him in three. All right. I want to find the, uh, set. here we go. Okay. I know where I am now. Or do I? What if we do the easy way? <clears throat> Pardon me. I think I'm growing a little horse. Of skill. Okay. So, class five. I gotta make sure that I want that. I don't know if I have enough, like, there might not be enough XP in the game for me to get that. So this leads to Hager's Cavern. And so to the Red Hall of Cages it also leads. So this is the Crypt of Dead Gods. 
Which probably means that the guys that I saw were dead gods. Which is pretty gnarly. Gods dying isn't even a, like, canon part of every mythology, you know? I'm gonna rinse that guy a couple times. Like, most religions are content to, like, have their, like, super gods that can never die and will never die. But some religions have, like, gods dying, you know? Like, for example, Norse mythology, obviously it's very hard to kill a god, but it can be done, and most of them die during Ragnarok. Um, I don't know if gods can die in, like, I think they can die in Egyptian mythology... Um, but something that makes it interesting in Egyptian mythology is that, like, not only can they die, they can go senile. Okay, I've actually got a Lord's Orders, so I can do that. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like upgrading, um, the thing on me, that might be too much. No, okay. I feel like upgrading the chest piece is always the best way to go. Because, like... It's at 68. The gloves... Like, default gloves do 9. These... These aren't the same set. Okay, let's use the same the same set. It's unupgraded. Oh, God. This is... Okay. These give you 30. And the chest gives you 99. So 32 versus 99. So yeah. To me, it just seems like it's always better to upgrade the chest because you get more. And then what's more, having the chest be upgraded means that you get, you know, a shit more out of it. And then probably the pants. All right. This is going pretty well. Okay, cool. And if I need to, I can fall back on that smaller sword. I hope I don't need to, I don't want to have to, but... Might have to. Okay, so... My armor's about as maxed out as it's really going to get for this playthrough, I'm thinking. That was the wrong thing. I didn't mean to eat that. Not one bit. Okay, so that leads back to the entrance. Right back to the entrance. Jeez. Too close. So over here, there was a drop that I wanted to take. I'm thinking I should only go for two on those. See, so yeah, these skeletons in the background must be gods. Because this is the Crypt of the Dead gods, you know? Like, talking about Dark Souls for the 50,000th fucking time. But, like, you go to an area in Dark Souls, it's called the Tomb of the Giants, and you see a skeleton, and it's a big fucking skeleton. You're like, well, I wonder what happened here. So there is stuff down here. But I'm thinking that that's probably, possibly, not the right way to go and get it. Okay. I might have a stone blacksmith in my inventory, by the way. And I'm aware that that means that I traveled away instead of just popping the blacksmith here, but... 
I feel like I want to... I feel like I want to be sure that there's not going to be another place to use it that's better. Because until I get another one, you know, I don't know. Um... It'd be kind of cool to get, like, triple air dashing. Oh, boy. You got a lot of gusto, my man. It's appreciable. It does not go unnoticed, I assure you. But please, stop hitting me. Let's mend. Okay, so... This was the area out the other side of the sanctuary. Which means that this might be the right way to go about that. Frozen locket. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Alright, I'm starting to put it together. Sometimes you gotta go through, like, through it the wrong way in order to do it the right way. Because this is where it was right right there's this whole middle area that i had forgotten gotcha gotcha you fool that didn't kill you in one okay The way that this one is standing here, for some reason, makes me think that he's going to be an NPC that I can talk to. Charred tomes. They... Do they just drop, like, all the best stuff? Oh! More Lord's Orders. That means that I might be able to... Okay, I thought that was a... That means that I can go back and upgrade my stuff some more. Staircase? More Lord's Orders. Mm hmm. And it looks like there is some stuff over there. Uh oh. That's okay. I can get back to that. It looks like there is some stuff up there, but I think it's just stuff that I can drop down to from earlier. Okay. Like, this is obviously one of those things that just has to happen because of... Oh, I know. I took off the thing that makes my roll faster. Maybe I should, maybe I should go for that instead of just more attack, you know? This is endurance. This is stamina. This is focus. Now that I have more chomps and I barely use my chomps, that might be fine. Rolling speed. Please give me some rolling speed. Okay, I've missed it then. There we go. Hmm. 
Okay. It's tense. I'm thinking that I really should make sure that I get my, uh, Too close. Um, if I can get all the levels, well, not like all of them, but you know what I mean. Like if I hadn't missed any levels, I might have enough already. Like, there was that thing after... Whoa. Oh, and a stone merchant. Okay, so this... That's okay. Oh, hey, Robert's playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Your attack soing... Soined. Oh, man. Oh, man. Crypt Keeper's Ashes. And of course, now I'm at a shrine and not a sanctuary. Uh-oh. That could be bad. Breaking Dragon. It's got a little pitchfork. And it does lightning damage. Well. I've got an easy solution for that. Sorry for the cowardice. But you know what? I've got a level. I don't feel like it. So, uh, I learned about, I think I learned about this. This holds the spit of Devora. Do you drink it? So I learned about this item. Someone told me about this. So now... I can get to somewhere I need to go. Which is nice and convenient. Now what I want here is... Just want a little more... Gold. And I didn't get any. All right, it's four when I am not packing my big damage boost. Can I have some uh, souls, guys? Or some gold? I guess I can sell gold. Or sell things for gold. Okay. Can I have the thing that I want? Well, while I'm here, I guess I'll get a level. I've, I've come back to this sanctuary so many times. Okay, can I have what I want? He's... Hmm. 
So yeah, because sometimes they'll have an item that is like a huge big amount of souls or a big amount of salt, and that's what I want from him. Hmm. As far as I know, it's 15k. I'll do this off screen. I've been Alfred. This has been another episode of Salt and Sanctuary. Thank you all for coming. Uh, this episode just blew by. I was just exploring the cavern and I had no idea. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Everyone have a good day. See you guys next time. Bye.